Hi everybody, Dr. Zelkin here, uh, and I'm going to answer a much uh, speculated upon topic of Gwen Stefani and the possibility and prospect of facial plastic surgery. Uh, so I was just looking at the news and somehow Gwen Stefani came up on the news as having been the subject of some speculation about whether or not she's had plastic surgery recently because of some changes in her appearance. And this is the picture of her face that I see, and I'm assuming it's a recent picture. The article is only a day old, and I just want to sort of comment on Miss Stefani uh, and offer my opinions on what may or may not have happened. It's going to lead me into a little bit of a rabbit hole, and I want to warn you about that, because I have uh, my own opinions about lip aesthetic, so that's where this is going. But I want to say a few things about Miss Stefani. She's one of my favorite singers and songwriters. Um, and I'm going to take at face value the fact that everybody speculating on her appearance and the possibility of plastic surgery is only doing so because they want to know what she's had so they can look as pretty as her. She's not unattractive at all. In fact, if this is a recent picture, she is one of the finest uh, looking 51 year old women I've ever seen. And I think a lot of it has to do with her facial bone structure. And her facial bone structure is advantageous in the sense that she has what we call a gummy smile. A gummy smile is when at repose or when you're smiling, you see your upper teeth. If you have a thin lip, this gummy smile can, you know, theoretically detract from your beauty. And there's a lot of ways we can enhance this surgically and non-surgically. What I think happened to Miss Stefani is she had filler to address her gummy smile. If you look at a lot of older pictures of her, she's always had a very toothy, gummy smile. It's, it's, and it's not an unattractive feature. In fact, I believe that having a long maxilla or vertical maxillary excess will be a favorable feature anatomically to combat aging. Because as we age, the vertical length of our maxilla tends to decrease and reset into our face, giving us deep nasolabial folds and the opposite of a gummy smile. And that's why we do things like lip lifts and other things. So she is like, she is genetically predisposed against aging. I don't think Miss Stefani had any plastic surgery, maybe with the exception of, of blepharoplasty a few years ago, but it's very possible that this is just makeup and she's just got great looks. I mean, for 51 years old, she looks fantastic, with one exception, her upper lip. And as I read this one article, I haven't done a very thorough review of the literature, in uh, all honesty, um, people keep saying she had cosmetic surgery or plastic surgery of the upper lip. This is not plastic surgery of the upper lip. This is fillers. And fillers and plastic surgery are distinctly different. I think fillers are better for lip aesthetics than plastic surgery. Plastic surgery is either one extreme or the other. You're either doing fat grafting, which is really soft, or you're doing something like a silicone implant in the lip on one end, or you're doing something like impaction of the maxilla to make the gummy smile even less noticeable. But that's not what I think happened here. Looking at this picture, I think that Miss Stefani opted to have what's called a keyhole pout, where you have essentially a thinning of the vermilion in the central upper lip and volume on the sides to give your lip the shape of a pouty upper lip. Unfortunately, as a fully trained plastic and reconstructive surgeon, I think this is a very, very unattractive look. Not only is it unnatural, as this is not how lips are made from an embryologic standpoint, there are three pillows in the upper lip and two in the lower. For the upper lip, you've got two lateral and one central, and the central upper lip comes about from your pre-maxilla here. For the lower lip, you have two. So this almost looks like a natural lower lip turned upside down. It's not a very pretty feature. Uh, and even more so, again, having done a lot of cleft lip and palate reconstruction, it kind of looks like a whistle lip deformity, which is a complication of cleft palate and cleft lip surgery. And it looks something like this. So to me, having done a lot of mission work, I think this looks like a complication of cleft lip surgery, not an aesthetically ideal outcome. I think this is what's going on with Gwen Stefani's face. I don't think she had a facelift. I'm almost certain she didn't. I don't think she has any bad fillers anywhere. She may have had an upper blepharoplasty, um, but this is all her, folks. I think Gwen is doing fantastically. And the more 
speculation that arises, uh, the more I'll try to weigh in. But so far, so good, Gwen. Only thing is, I'd say stay away from that keyhole pout or do something about volumizing the central pillow of your upper lip. Thank you so much for watching this. I really will do my best to keep you appraised of any other celebrity plastic surgery rumors uh, and any speculations of celebrity plastic surgery that comes across my desk. And uh, I'll see you soon.